Hello, what's up and welcome everyone. Kubia and yes, it's time for another video. So today I'm showing you guys HBMD and how I'm defeating it with my five ranged hero team. So my five ranged heroes are all level 80. I've got a druid, shaman, marksman, engineer and an angel. So I've got these five range heroes, they're able to attack the heroes from a distance which gives me quite a advantage when I'm facing the heroes um, running a long distance and splitting up from each other. Um, all my heroes can attack one hero one unit at a time and kill them off very very quickly. Um, my town hall is level 12, it's stuck up in the top corner maximizing the running distance which the heroes need to run to get there. And I've only got three towers and I managed to beat the, um, I think that's quite cool. And yeah, so here's how I did it. Um, HPMD always was quite a pest for me back in the day, because beating C is fairly easy, beating D is fairly difficult, beating E is quite easy again. What, why is this? So with HPMD your griffins spawn in wave 3 and in wave 4. In HPME your griffins spawn in wave 1 and wave 2. It's much easier to kill off all the griffins if you've got um, all your buildings, all your stuff defending them. But once the griffins come later and you don't have buildings to protect yourself, they can easily kill off your towers, weaken your towers, and then it kills you off um, very quickly once the later waves come or you just can't do D5. So yeah, I'm beating D5 with my 5 range heroes. It's not a legend team, so you should have a much easier time if you've got a few better heroes. But yeah, I hope you guys found this informative. I hope this helps you beat that D and get up to HPME so you can get your 30 shard drop every time. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helps you. I'll check you guys next time. Kubi out.